Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? Yeah. No! Whether you're constantly getting sacked, Having trouble beating man coverage. Or just want a more explosive offense. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this. Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese as always. Got another Glitch Routes video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be focusing on routes that are especially glitchy against man coverage, but I'm going to give you guys some routes that work even against defenses like Cover 2 and Cover 3 as well. I'm going to focus more on Cover 2 man because I've noticed that since I've put out my Cover 2 man defense that a lot of people have switched over to that. And this is probably like part 7 of a Glitch route series that I've been doing, so if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description for all the Glitch Route videos I've done as well as pop-ups on the screen at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for that. But as always, before I get into the video, if you guys want me to continue this series, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more glitch routes like this, more money plays like this, you can check out any of my eBooks, links in the description and the top pinned comment. Just click the links and you can have them sent to your email for instant download. The first one I'm gonna start off with is gonna only be in uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then the play is going to be called the, the Shot Fade Cross, which if you guys saw a gameplay I was running not too long ago, an opponent of mine was running this against me, which is why I wanted to eventually put this into a, uh, a video down the line because it was very glitchy and I had a hard time stopping it. Usually I try to focus on routes and plays that are specific to uh, to man coverage, and this does have some effectiveness to man coverage, but it's also very good against zone coverage. So let's go ahead and let's pick the shot fade cross. On defense, we'll start off with uh, man cover two. Now my opponent that was running this particular play against me actually is a follower because when he saw himself in gameplay he did shout himself out so i will give him a shout out in this video uh, and if he's watching this video make sure to comment so you can get a little uh, credit for showing me this play so all you really have to do is put the y route on a streak and the x route here is really glitchy against multiple defenses as you can see here that's a cover two man and he runs right past it probably would have had a touchdown there but you could see how the the boundary kind of became an issue that's one of the things about this play is it's glitchy because it's being run from a hash mark to the short side of the field if i run it from the open side of the field it's not going to work as well against the, some of the defenses i'm going to show you in a minute but against cover two man it does work uh, just about anywhere because you can see how this route here just kind of runs right past the press. He doesn't, the cornerback doesn't really get a press. You can easily have one play touchdowns against cover two man. This also has a lot of success against zone coverages, which I really don't touch on typically. Zone coverages like Tampa 2, which I'll pick next, where you can see the exact same setup now run from a hash mark. Although this one here, you can probably run this from anywhere. Basically just gets this guy right over the top once again because the cornerback doesn't drop back far enough. And then the most surprising coverage that this had success against was against cover three. Same setup once again, the most important part is going to be to make sure that you run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field. And you'll see how the cover three cornerback outside here reacts very differently than what you would expect as he turns his back on this outside uh, fade route once again. And it's also very capable of a one play touchdown. I gotta try to get this ball off with a little bit better timing. As you can see, he can get over the top of the defense as well. Now I'm gonna stay in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook for this next play as well. This particular play is out of the empty tray stack and the play itself is going to be the fade out. This play can also be found in the Lions and run and gun playbooks. On the defensive side, we're gonna pick cover three again. Now, if you guys remember, this concept should be very similar to one that I showed earlier in the year. I know a lot of people still really had a hard time running this play uh, because when I do coaching sessions, a lot of people need me to show them how to do it. So I'm sure there's a lot of people that struggle with the pass lead that's required. But if you run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field and put the X route here on a comeback route, it will get the Y route open outside of cover three now you'll notice i can't put this particular receiver on the comeback route from this area but if i motion him out it will let me uh, it will bring the comeback route back as an option so you really just have to motion him out and then motion him back with the comeback route already installed and now you'll see how the y route here can really just get outside of the cover three as long as you get a really good pass lead uh, and if you throw it a little bit early you can get up the field for an easy one play touchdown as well i'm going to do that again this might be a little bit of a tell 
uh, if you do this too many times, but just, you know, you can always disguise this with motions in other plays. Just make sure that you have a lot of motions uh, going on throughout the game, and you can see how this guy can get past for a very easy touchdown, even though A.J. Brown's only like a 91 speed. But since the focus is man coverage, this is also a very good man beating play as well. So we're going to pick that again, and now we're going to go to cover two man. So for this play, once again, you're going to want to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field because you will want to pass it to the outside the exact same way. The adjustment you're going to make this time, though, is you're going to put the X route on a fade. And this will do two things. It will pull the safety back, but it will also get in the way of the pressing mechanic for the cornerback in front of him as it will a lot of times allow the Y route a freer and easier release. As you can see here, once again, we got a very easy uh, one play touchdown type of play. Probably won't have your fastest receiver there, but you can see how it gets in the way. So next up, we are in the Chiefs playbook. We also can find the play that I'm going to show you guys in the Texas playbook, though. And that is the infamous RPO read flat wheel glitch, uh, which has made a strong comeback lately. Uh, I made a video about it recently where I had an opponent running against me all game and I couldn't figure out a defense to stop it. Then on defense, I'm just going to go random dime because, like I said, it really works against anything. So I'm not necessarily promoting this, but you may come to a point where you need a play like this, where you're playing against somebody who's really cheesy and then you can pull this out and it helps you out. So if it helps you out, it helps you out. Just don't run it against me. But basically, the RB route is going to get open against every single defense in the game, whether it's uh, zone coverage like there. That was zone coverage. Nobody's going to cover it to the outside. You just got to throw it to really quickly if it's a man coverage which i'm sure we'll see it completely just glitches it out to the point where it gets open outside of it like i said i don't have to read the defense this is a complete bum play as you don't really have to know what you're doing at all and you can see how the tight end is getting open for more and more yards every single time a lot of people though i noticed that when it's a zone coverage will also hit this route here which is a very good route as well so you really have two routes on the play making this play even harder to stop but at the end of the day the, the real glitch route that i would say is the tight end because nothing really covers you almost have to use for this. Sticking with the Chiefs playbook, the next play I'm going to show you is only found in the Chiefs, and it's one of my favorite offenses that people don't know about, is the Pistol Wing Flex Close. They have a really glitchy play against Cover 2, which is going to be the PA Flood. This play here is going to be good against any Cover 2, man or zone. All you really have to do is run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field and put the B route on the streak. That's all you really got to do. I'll block my running back, and I'll show you guys against press and non-pressing Cover 2, man, since a lot of people are pressing it based off of my own, uh, you know, adjustment. But you can see how this guy just runs around the cover two man cornerback. He doesn't get pressed, he doesn't get jammed. You just need a nice pass lead once again. If I motion this guy out, the cornerback will come down since I'm not using two controllers. And now you'll see how I can do this even from a pressing man to uh, just as long as you get that bullet and pass lead outside once again because the receiver will get outside. They get a good catch and run, but you can see that you can squeeze into the sideline there and get a catch and run one play touchdown against any man cover two. And it can also have success against cover three the same way as the play we showed earlier. So we'll pick cover three buzz. Just have to run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field and give yourself uh, the streak once again. Streak the B route. And you'll see how that cornerback will buy onto that one, leaving this guy open for at least a very good play. You have to run from a hash mark to the short side of the field again. And I'm not suggesting this is going to be a one-play touchdown, but it'll it'll work the same way in the fat in the regard that it'll get the, the cornerback on that side's attention to allow you to throw to the route for at least a very big play. For this next play, we're going to stay with the Chiefs one more time. This is one of the glitchiest playbooks in the game, and the formation is going to be the gun Y off trips. The play itself is the RPO zone peak, another RPO play, as most RPO plays are glitchy, and it can only be found in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. Don't have to know what defense my opponent is running. It really doesn't matter. The Y route is going to get open against just about everything in the game. As you can see against zone coverages, everybody gets pulled back, and I basically just get like a 15-yard handoff as, as long as I just run around the outside receivers here. These receivers running cross and slants and stuff like that they're all really maintaining uh, the outside they're gonna basically act as blockers if it's a man coverage they'll pull the defenders out of the area if it's a zone coverage like I said they'll basically just turn the blockers so you just have to get outside of them but here we go we got a man coverage because the linebacker is in coverage he's way too far inside for this route if you motion your linebacker out he might be able to pick this up but for the most part like i said there's really nothing out here to cover that so that's that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future as always please make sure to be subscribed hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you want to see some of the videos that i put out recently from the same topic i will have them popping up on screen now so just click the links as i'm sure to help with your game and that's it thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below